some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fort Worth, Texas, with a relatively new frauditor that goes by the name of Carson Die Audits, as he uh, gets trespassed from a uh, Fort Worth area police department and then comes back later on to find out that if you F around and find out, you're most likely to get arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing, officer? Don't want to sneak up on you. I just want to let you know that your computer was open the whole time, so anybody can just come in and see it. Uh, no, it's good. Sometimes we just... I mean, I should I should have closed it, but I normally keep it on because sometimes we have yeah. to get back out in the car, so... Oh, no, I get it. I just want to let you know that I was walking by and I saw it open and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, but, yeah, I'm walking out for the night. <laughs> you logging out for that? You going home for the night too? Uh, here in a little bit. I've got a few more admin stuff to do. Okay. Well, did you have a good, safe night tonight? Huh? Yeah, good. Anything uh, exciting happen at all? Not really. Though. No. You were you're dressed in the blue. Are you also do the bike patrolling as well, or? Yep. You know uh, Carlos Duque at all from a few years back? Mm, no, before my time. Way before your time. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Doing all right. Did you need something? Nope. I'm just talking to this officer here. So, but, so um, the reason why I'm asking is, if you're going to be walking around the parking lot, you can't do that. you got to be on the sidewalk. Oh, I can be here. That's fine. Yeah. you got to be. I didn't say you couldn't be here. Yeah. I said you need to be on the sidewalk. Oh, I, I can make sure I'm not going to get by any no, cars. No, I told you you need to be on the sidewalk. Oh, I can be in the parking no, lot. No, that's no, fine. No, you cannot be on the, the sidewalk. Why I need not? You to go, I need, can't be on the sidewalk now? You need to go over there and You just said the, I couldn't be on the sidewalk. You need to be on the sidewalk. You, you just said I could not be on the sidewalk. Stop. You cannot be in the parking lot. Why? You need to go stand over there on the sidewalk. Okay, tell me why. Because you can get hit by a car. It's a danger. I'm an Don't adult. You're not, you're not responsible for my Stop. safety. Yeah, but seeing as how you are on the property that the police department is leasing, you could potentially sue the owners of the uh, property, which is not the police department, but somebody else. And if you are going to quote uh, Gonzalez versus Castle Rock at any point, don't even bother, dude, because, you know, uh, that was an entirely different case than what you actually think it is. In that case, uh... Gonzalez had a restraining order against her husband, and he ended up kidnapping her children. And, well, she went to the police to get them back, and, uh, well, the police asked her to wait for a few hours to see if he would return them, and, well, he ended up, uh, well, offing them and uh, self-deleting himself uh, via the police. And, uh, well, she sued them for a uh, violation of her due process. And, well, she ended up losing in court. So, basically, at this point, it would be comparing apples to oranges. And so, it really has no validity. Don't cop explain to me, okay? Stop. I'm, I'm okay. Stop. I'm fine. I already know what you're doing. Go I'm stand, fine. Just go stand I'm over totally there. I'm totally fine. I've asked you three times. More okay, and I'm declining your asking. Go stand over there. I'm okay. All right, hold on one second. Oh, no, I'm going to walk over here. Okay, no? I'm being kind, I'm being cool, right? Are you going to tell them that I'm allowed to be here? What I'm telling you right now is that this is private property. It's right? not. It's owned how, by how? How is it private property? Because this building is owned by the Bass family. Okay. We okay. are renting it from them. Okay. So you're, you, the, the government leases it, Fort Worth leases it. And as the... As so we're allowed to be here, public. It's open to the public. As tenants, a property that's owned by a private... It doesn't matter. They open it, this public property. They lease it to... Fort Worth, the city, it's open to the public. Yeah, I wonder how that works, uh, moron. Uh, because I lease my apartment from a private company, but I don't own the apartment. I, but I don't own it, and if I don't pay my rent uh, for a certain period of time, I can be evicted from it. So let me uh, ask you this. Uh, how is it any different from a private owner to a city when the city rents from a private owner? I mean, come on now, dude. The same thing applies. So it is private property owned by a private organization leased to another entity, but still a piece of private property. So show me where it says that uh, it's public property. Go talk to someone else. I'm telling you. Bring someone else out here then. I'm working on it. 
Yeah, I've already talked to plenty of people. They're totally fine with me being out here. I don't have to stand here. Am I being detained? No? Great. I said get on the sidewalk. I'm not being detained, so. You know, sometimes I wonder about the mental age of these frauditors, considering that this, uh, well, so-called adult just made a childlike sound in the direction of the uh, officers. You know, the sound as if he was sticking his tongue out at them. Yeah, uh, what, how old are you mentally, dude? Are you like five years old? Don't touch me. Hey. Don't touch me. I told you to get on the sidewalk. Don't touch me. Again, go don't. stand on the sidewalk. No. Yes, go. Don't touch me. Go stand on the sidewalk. Don't touch me. Get, on get the your LT out here right now. Get right now. Get someone out here right now. You got to touch me. Go stand on the sidewalk. Don't touch me. Get out of the parking lot. No. Am I being detained right now? Get out of the parking Get a sergeant or someone above you. I'm allowed to be here. Do not touch me. He's great. This gentleman right here is absolutely fantastic. But that that guy right there put his hands on me. Oh, but baby. So he's he's probably telling you to get off the property and all. And that. I told him that it's public property. There is no restricted signs. Is technically we we rent the space. You might rent it, but you they rent yeah. it to a city, right? Okay. Which makes it public. It's open for public. Right. It is not restricted. Put your signs up if it wants to be restricted. I, I, I agree. But he cannot put hands on me. I, I don't know. I didn't see it. All. I know you didn't see it. He did. They're they're talking about being private property. He's at. He told me he doesn't want me to get hit by a car. I told him I'm a grown adult. I haven't been hit by a car my whole life. I can. I can. Your your responsibility is not keeping me safe. Exactly. Right. right. I, I've got it covered. All right. Well, we we'll keep him in there. All right. I need his name real quick uh, and his badge number. Uh, I, the man with the beard. I need his name and his badge number right now. We'll get a sergeant out here for you. I need his name and his badge number. I'm not leaving until I get it. Now I cannot leave until I get it. He put his hands on me. Oh, now you've gone and done it. Uh, you touched the poor little frauditor, and now he's going to go out and file his little LOL lawsuit on you guys. Oh, woe is me. You guys are going to lose your qualified immunity. No, no, not really. That's just in his little fantasy world. Yeah, he wasn't wearing a blue shirt. This officer right here in the blue shirt has been banned. Fantastic. We had a great conversation together. You, I need your name and badge number right now. Right Say that what? I already said it once. I, I have a really hard of hearing. I worked on jets for five years with wind turbos. You. Can you write it down for me then? Because I can't, I can't hear it. Right write it down for me. It's on your camera. I cannot hear it. It's way over there. I couldn't pick it up. Do you have a business card? Do you have a business card? Supervisor, you would like to speak? I would like record. his name and badge number, please. I cannot. I couldn't hear it. I was way over there. Do you, do you have a business card that you can hand me? No, I don't. Can, can someone write it down for me then? Did they ask you to leave the property? No. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm telling you to leave the property. Okay. Well, this is public you property. Can, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Sir, if you don't leave, you're going to be arrested. For what? Criminal trespass. It's not. This is public. Tell it's me what. Not. Where? I'm giving you notice to leave. You can go. Do you film know who? You do want. you know who Kruger is? You can go film all. Are you, have you been drinking? No. Absolutely I can not. Smell it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Really, because I haven't drunk in so it's seven years now. Go stand in the parking lot. Uh, stand the in the sidewalk. parking lot. Stand in the parking lot. Got it. Sidewalk. No, you said you just said the parking lot. Okay, I'm saying the sidewalk. Go stand on the sidewalk. And Are you going? All you want. Okay. Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Yes, I will. I need a ba name, badge number, name, badge number, Sergeant please. Sergeant LeBlanc, three zero six one. I already gave you mine. Give it to me again. Right I couldn't hear it. Seven four three. Okay, you're okay. talking to me. Can I get a business card, please? Let's go. We don't have a business card. Can you write it down for me? No, we won't write anything down. Okay, I'll be back here tomorrow. Why? Okay. Don't be drinking when you come back. I don't drink. I can smell it. I can smell it. I don't too. drink. How can you smell something that. What? Don't make I can no smell sense. It. Smell what? Alcohol on your breath. How can you smell something that I haven't done? That'll make no damn sense. Well, 
You're saying that you haven't done it, but I can smell it. Nope. So, okay. Stay right there and film all you want, all night long. We don't care. Okay? Great. But you can't be on the property. Can I go inside and get something? I don't care what. Great. Go on the sidewalk. What, can I get your... Uh, I already gave it to you, bro. Again, real quick? There's a sidewalk right there. I'm standing on it, man. Just so you're aware I can stand it on here. Way, and that's an no, way. I will walk out of the way if someone's coming in or going out. Don't walk in the street. I'm not going to walk in the street. I'm going to use crosswalks. That's not a crosswalk. I'm going to use the crosswalks. Okay, go ahead. I know where they are, go man. Ahead. What's the problem? The problem is you're on our property. This is public leave. property. You will not leave. Sir, is this not public property? As long as you're on the sidewalk. You're on the sidewalk. Okay this is public it. property, man. If you walk. In this property right here? It's public. No. Yes, it is. Who owns it? If you want to test it, who I'll owns show it? You. Who owns it? Bass owns it. No. We rent from Bass. You rent from Bass, which makes it public because the city city okay. rents it. It stay. opens it up. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, well, it do. You step back here, you're going to jail. Okay. For Just what? You know. Criminal trespass. Okay. Okay. We've already told you that. That's all I need. Several times. Okay. You Great. said you were going to go get something. Well, I'm going to come right back here tomorrow. It's open to the public, yo. It's not open you better to talk to someone above you. The front of the building with the sidewalk and the door is open to the public. So is this. Where, where does it say it's not open to the public? Where? It's not open to the public. Well, why, where does it say that it's not open to the public? Okay, you came on the lot. You didn't get arrested. But when I told you that... I talked to this officer, what, Rice? Great dude. Fantastic guy. He understands that this is public. I know that they're above you. I get it. I'm not trying to. Just listen to them out. Just listen to them. I understand. They, I'm, I'm calling you out for my viewers. Is all I'm there, doing. There's no signs. I understand that. There's no signs. Which makes it open like and it's unrestricted. Well, the sad thing about these frauditors is that even if there were a sign right there, that they would say, "Oh, well, uh, that sign is unconstitutional," uh, and if it had a. Uh, a statute on it that they'd still say it was unconstitutional. Uh, so you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And besides that, uh, you got to deal with uh, Texas's uh, criminal trespassing law, which does exist despite what you frauditors tend to think that uh, you need uh, to commit a crime before trespassing occurs, or like some frauditors tend to think that it doesn't exist to begin with. Well, dude, it does exist, and you were asked to leave, in fact, ordered to leave at some points, and you refused to do so. You got trespassed, and now at the, some point, you're going to play F around and find out, and you're definitely going to find out the hard way. Yes, it is. No, yes, it is. Not anymore. Not that I've told you. It doesn't matter. I if it you would take matter. me to jail, you're, you're... I have authority over the property. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, the state does. No, they don't. Fort Worth does. Yes, they do. Okay, Fort Worth does. Fort I'm Fort Worth. Worth. No, you're not. You're, your name is Fort Worth. My name is Sergeant LeBlanc Okay. the Fort Worth Police Department. And I'm telling you that if you come back on this property, we will take you to jail. Okay, for what? Criminal trespass. You can't... I didn't break a law. You've been warned, sir. That's not a law. No, That's no, not no. a law. You've been warned. This been is warned. public property. You've been warned. Okay. I'll be back here tomorrow night. Yeah, there you go. He just said it. He said that you have to commit a crime to be trespassed. Uh, well, show me on this particular statute where it says that fraudatard because it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that on any uh, statute that I've ever seen regarding trespassing. So at any rate, he comes back the next night and, uh, well, he Fs around and he finds out the hard way. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Tomorrow. That's better. So I can't walk on the sidewalk because the police vehicles are parking over it and the city doesn't maintain its branches. So I have to walk around where they told me I was trespassed from. Well, now here's the thing about this particular sidewalk right here you see how it comes from the main sidewalk right over on the right hand side of the screen and goes right through the property and you got the uh bushes there as the property line right there so if the bushes indicate the uh, barrier between the city property and the private property uh it kind of makes you wonder if that is actually a 
private easement or public easement. And because, you know, there is a difference between a public and uh, private easement. And if it's on private property, well, that's a whole other can of worms, dude. And it looks like it goes right on to their private property. So uh, odds are it might have been constructed for the benefit of that building, you dumbass. So I'll walk around and get back on the sidewalk. Oh, and lo and behold, the Fort Worth Police Department is parked on the sidewalk. Oh, see, I can't get around that sidewalk either because the police department is parked on it. Keep in mind, they told me I was trespassed. Oh, and they're parked on the fucking sidewalk. Flashlight isn't working. Sorry. Sidewalk. And this is a police vehicle. Over the sidewalk. Oh, I can't continue on the sidewalk because someone else parked over it. To save you the monotony, I'm just going to go ahead and walk past all these vehicles that are parked on the sidewalk. I apologize. Let me see if I can turn my... I tried turning my flashlight on, but I didn't turn on that I have another flashlight. But this is the sidewalk line right here. If you follow this line all the way up, you hit a police vehicle that is parked on the sidewalk. Well, dumbass, I question your reasoning right here because you got that bush that's uh in between the sidewalk and the road on the other side with this sidewalk practically on the property of the uh police department well the privately owned uh, property so it kind of makes you wonder maybe it's a private easement no that couldn't be it i mean frauditors think that everything is public whenever it's out there yeah they even think that just because a place has a chair that it's a public uh, place yeah I'm, I'm being serious i've heard frauditors say that that's their way of thinking in mind i was trespassed from this property oh but they don't keep this vehicle did not park on the sidewalk he is over the line but with the pole or the telephone guidelines and the maintenance that the city hasn't done I can't walk through there so I have to walk around keep in mind they trespassed me from public property keep in mind that you're a total moron I mean if you're having that much difficulty walking around all these uh, obstacles and with the how narrow that uh, sidewalk is to begin with kind of makes you wonder is it truly a sidewalk to begin with or is it just something else on this property all to begin with I mean uh, yeah think about that you got the got that power pole on the sidewalk itself with the guide wire you got uh, other obstructions there huh, kind of makes you wonder I mean, why are you going through all this difficulty to get yourself arrested if it's something that uh, you have no clue about? Saying that it's past property, but the city leases it, which makes it public property. What's up? I'm going to show you something. Nope. Nope. No, you're parked on the fucking sidewalk. Yeah. No, you you're parked on the sidewalk. Don't, don't, don't resist. Don't you parked on the sidewalk. Don't resist. Don't resist. You, you parked on the sidewalk. I couldn't get through. Don't resist. You parked on the sidewalk. I couldn't get through. I had to go around. No, you parked on the sidewalk. I couldn't get through. I had to go around. Because you parked on the sidewalk. I didn't park anywhere. Someone parked. The, the police vehicles were parked on the sidewalk. I couldn't get through. Okay, I'm not going to resist, please. I feel I only 100% veteran. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself if you're 100% disabled. Really? Yeah, Because I'm 100% disabled too, sir. So. Seriously? You're parked on a sidewalk. How can I walk on a sidewalk if, if you're parked on it? 
I'm not parked on it. Someone is. The well, police vehicles you are. You were told to not come on the property and you can I, No, 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 no. I watched you walk around multiple vehicles. You had yeah. multiple chances. I'm a lawyer now. Hey y'all, thanks for watching the video. Uh, here I've got a picture, an overview of the sidewalk. Um, I was originally pushed out from the entrance of the south, right about there. Um, and you can see there's no restricted or authorized personnel only signs. Here's going to be another picture of the same lot from a different angle, same entrance. Um, again, no authorized personnel signs, no restricted signs. And then let's have a look at the other side as well. Again, no no restricted signs, no authorized personnel only. This is clearly a open public parking lot. Uh, dude, uh, how can you make that argument when you were told that you were entering a uh, area that they didn't want you in to begin with? You were asked to leave on several occasions, and you decided to walk in there anyway and get yourself arrested the judge is going to take a look at this uh, crap and be and question your damn intelligence boy um here's another picture i was actually arrested just behind that police vehicle right there uh let's see i have a short video that's going to play now uh it's going to be me walking down the sidewalk uh towards the picture that you just saw and me uh continuing on that sidewalk into the parking lot where you can physically see the police vehicles parked on the sidewalk against the bushes and shrubbery to where a reasonable person or any person actually just wouldn't be able to walk through. So a reasonable per person would uh, most likely just walk around the vehicle to get back on the sidewalk. And that's what I was arrested for, honestly staying on the sidewalk after being unlawfully trespassed from the police parking lot that's open to the public and walking around police vehicles that were parked on and blocking the sidewalk uh, so take a look here i'm walking up you can see that truck and the guidelines from the pole that you can see in that other video and look at all those police vehicles all parked on the sidewalk and right up against the shrubbery Thanks. Uh, dude, you're not making your point very well right here. I mean, you got several things blocking your path on the sidewalk alone, and you got that sh shrubbery that's uh, making it a bit more difficult as well. So it kind of makes you question, is it really a public easement? I mean, yeah, that, that that is the question right there. Is it truly a public easement? Because if it is, it's not very convenient. If it was a private easement, that would make more sense that all this stuff was blocking it. But, yeah, it makes you wonder now, doesn't it? Not to mention that if they really wanted to, they could put put a sidewalk on the other side of that shrub next to the highway so nobody would come across this parking lot. I mean, but, you know, that's their fault. Well, that's the city's fault to begin with. But they can't exactly be blamed for not being able to predict the actions of uh, fraudatard morons. But you know what? One of these days, this idiot is going to really F around and find out that, well, uh, his uh, interpretation of laws and codes and everything like that is flat out, well, agreed just to begin with. Because just like any other frauditor, he actually thought that, uh, well, you have to commit a crime to be trespassed from any establishment. Well, dude, that is fundamentally wrong to begin with. you got to show us where it says it in any of these codes and statutes that uh, have trespassing laws. So, yeah, you're completely in the wrong once again, dude. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Josh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me.
That's the Third Amendment. Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. Um, no, I didn't tell it, you yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.